Well, there goes 10 hours of work. If you use Algodon on a regular basis, you probably have a lot of scenes and components on it. All those scenes and components probably took a long time to make. Now, let's say something happened to those files and they disappear forever. You're likely to be devastated by it, right? Even if that doesn't happen, what if you want to transfer those files to another computer or share them to somebody else? Well, you can share them to Algabox, but anyone can see them. Now, what if there's a way to have a copy of those files and have them private? If you want more race, I'll give you Android, I'll give you more race content. And if you want to be there when new videos come out, subscribe and click the bell. If you want to have a different option to Algobox for saving your scenes, there are backups. Many people have backups ranging from their entire computer on an SSD, all the way down to a few important files on a flash drive. Backing up your stuff is important. You want to know when you may lose your stuff, especially on Algodoo. Speaking of Algodoo, on this program, things are a little different. People don't usually back up their files, but most people using Algodoo are kids, and they don't know about backing things up that much. For other people to know, they just don't know how to back up their Algodoo files. I know, it's shocking. It's actually a lot easier than it looks, and can save you a lot of time later on. We have to note that this tutorial will be different depending on what OS you use. I use a Mac, so this entire tutorial will be on Algodoo for the Mac because of it. However, for all you Windows users, there will be information on that in this video. They will be shown alongside Mac instructions so you can follow along. First, let's get into Algodoo. Try to find this GUI with all the folders. My layout is a bit different from the original one, but it should be in the top right. Next, click on the empty folder. Here is where you can see all your scenes. All the folders on the top left are the folders that are inside the scene folder. Now, click on the upload button on the top. It's the one with the arrow on it. This will take you to the Algodoo folder. You can see that the scenes folder inside the Algodoo folder. There are other folders inside the Algodoo folder, but we won't be dealing with those yet. Now, we need the Algodoo folder outside of Algodoo. Find your dock, click on the finder icon, and go to the top left of your screen. There, you'll find Go. Click on that, and you'll see a drop down menu. Click Go to Folder and type this in. Alternatively, you can use this. For Windows users, the process will work the same. Go to your dock. Now, instead of the finder icon, you'll go to the Windows icon. You then go to File Explorer and go to the address bar where you input this in. You'll find the Algodoo folder and you can put this on a flash drive. Now, all these folders may seem intimidating, but I'll break it down. The Chains folder isn't important in terms of backing up as there is nothing. In fact, the Chains, Materials, Screenshots, and Skins folders are all empty. The config files are also not important. Cookies and data do have some stuff in them, but you shouldn't worry about those. Log file may be useful if you want to see the sessions in Algodoo, but they can be brushed aside. Once you get the palettes though, it gets interesting. The main thing you need to care about is the scenes folder. It's the folder that contains everything you worked on. This is important, as the folder that's also contained is the funlets folder, which are all the components that are stored. Everything else is not necessary with the exceptions of palettes and textures even though you only really need them if you have a bunch of custom palettes and or textures that you brought into Algodoo. Once you found the folder and one you want to back up, connect your flash drive to your computer. Then drop the folder into the flash drive. If you don't have a flash drive, you can use a cloud storage service. Some free options include Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, and Dropbox. It works a little differently, but you simply take your Algodoo folder and upload it to the cloud. All your scenes, components, and other items are now backed up. Just did your first backup of Algodoo. The scenes on your computer will now have a backup on your hard drive or cloud storage service. Now you'll know that your files will be safe if anything happens to your computer. You'll sleep a lot better at night knowing that your Algodoo library is safe from viruses and other computer issues. Once you've done your first backup, you need to keep doing it for as long as you can use Algodoo. The frequency with which you backup your files will depend across users. If you don't use Algodoo that often, you can get away with backing up Algodoo two times a year. People who use Algodoo as a hobby should perform a backup every three months. And if you use Algodoo for business, like what I do, you can do it as often as every month. There are no rules on how often you should back up your files. It all depends on how often you use the program and how many scenes and components you generate. You just finished your first backup of your Algodoo files. Check out these other Algodoo tutorials and subscribe to keep up with future tutorials like it.